What a main event this is, Jim. International Proportions, you're Jim Amata, I'm Joe Dabrowski, bring you an amazing main event here at PWX Revolution Television as Gory, the new age plague, the man who's reigned atop PWX for many months, defends in an international incident. He takes on young Japanese upstart Shinya Ishida, one-on-one. -on -one. Joe, I can't tell you how excited I am and how much of an honor it is to call this international matchup as we welcome Shinye Ishida to the United States for, as you said, a matchup that has international implications. And I'm, I know that some of our fans may be unfamiliar with the Japanese wrestling culture. I can tell you this, Joe, and you can verify this, that when a young Japanese wrestler is sent to the United States, it is because their trainers in Japan see them as a potential future superstar in their native country. Names like the great Muda, Masahiro Chono, Japanese legends, really found themselves as wrestlers after touring here in the United States. And what it, it would make international headlines if Oshida is able to come back with a PWX heavyweight championship around his weight. Absolutely true, Shinya Ishida, only 22 years of age, celebrated his birthday just five days before this matchup, a two-year pro, based in the Sportiva Wrestling promotion in his native Nagoya, Japan. That promotion was founded in 2007, but as you said, really a breakout performance potentially for Ishida to go from a more regionally based Japanese independent all the way over here to the United States where a whole new crop of fans and insiders alike can certainly be exposed to what Ishida brings to the table. And you mentioned Ishida's home promotion. He's also wrestled for Osaka Pro Wrestling, which was founded by legendary junior heavyweight Super Delphine. So certainly in his native country, he is starting to really branch out. But as I said, for an international victory to become a champion on U.S. soil would make major headlines in the country of Japan. And Ishida's done a great job of neutralizing Gori in the early going. This is not a feeling of a normal Gori matchup. This has been Ishida dictating a very slow, safe tempo and feeling out his adversary. And now, things quicken. Ishida tries to meet Gori move for move. Gori the backslide could end it early here, driving with the legs for two. Oklahoma roll here by Ishida. Gori counters. Great back and forth action. It's a game of leverage, a game of inches. And Joe, if you needed a testament to Ishida's ability, he just went step for step with the PWX heavyweight champion. And neither man blinking, neither man backing down. Ishida, this is arguably his highest profile matchup to date. He's had some big opportunities in Japan as well. Ishida has on his resume a matchup with the great Taka Michinoku, who many U.S. fans are, are uh, certainly familiar with. But uh, certainly Ishida can hit a whole new level to add gold to his resume as well. And check out the drop kick. Beautiful drop kick from Ishida. The drop kicks of Ishida are perhaps his most lethal arsenal. And Gory hits the outside hard. Ishida's top rope drop kick, among his specialties, look for him to hit that if he attempts to win this matchup at some point. If he can get that far, Certainly, uh, when you're speaking of Gori, uh, it's easier said than done. And what's Ishida have planned here? Ah, flies to the outside, bolts himself, all the body weight down on top of the New Age flag. Twisting in midair for extra impact. And certainly, Joe, again, for some fans that may not be familiar, the Japanese style is uh, very heavily rooted in the cruiserweight or junior heavyweight high-flying aerial aspect of that and uh, certainly Gory is his, that's his specialty as well so these two very very evenly matched in terms of their style and also in Japan it's it's about the tradition the fighting spirit and certainly that's what we're seeing from Ashina here and Gory oh fighting away and this is certainly not a part of the uh, the young Japanese wrestlers culture as far as what they're uh, taught to expect but Gory Breaking it out here, and certainly not surprisingly at that. And check out the revolutions on the satellite head scissors. And uh, 
while Joe Gorey's telling people to clear out because he could be ready to fly. Five minutes elapsed. Gorey bolts himself. And just as Ishida twisted his body midair, Gorey took that to the next level. See the toll it's taken on Ishida. No doubt. Who's been dazed and, and really motionless for the first time in this match. And it should be pointed out, Ishida has been in the United States for about a week or so, so jet lag won't be a factor here. Yeah, he's competed on a couple of other events uh, against an American-style competitor, but certainly nobody that brings the fight like Gory, no match of the prestige such as this one against Gory. This is the ultimate test for Shinya Ishida. And a prime opportunity. As I said, jet lag won't be a factor. You could argue that this right here is Ashita's best opportunity to win the PWX Heavyweight Championship. And uh, Gory has been in the ring with PWX's best from Jack Pollock on down. But I don't know. Well, Gory biting again, that ruthless side of him. I don't know if anybody has matched and tested Gory from an athleticism standpoint. From an endurance standpoint, if it gets down that far, quite like Shinya Ishida has so far. Gori charges through. This has been a feverish pace, and for the most part, Ishida has kept up. Although at the moment, it's Gori springing in with the knees. Down into the cover. Two and, oh, that's a near fall. And I, Joe, I also think that it speaks volumes of the ability to Ashida to be given a PWX Heavyweight Championship matchup for his debut for this promotion. It's Gore with a snap mare. You gotta wonder how much film each has seen on the other. Not only are you dealing with a, a major barrier in terms of ring style, but certainly I'm not sure uh, uh, how often uh, Gory's past exploits have made its way to Japan, although I understand PWX is uh, making some, some major inroads in, in Japan and Asia as far as television distribution. Um, great news on the PWX front as far as the uh, uh, licensing and marketing department. But uh, to that point, I don't know how much of Ishida's work has made its way to U.S. soil. Uh, uh, and I'll be honest, I did not find anything of Shinya Ishida on YouTube. So certainly, uh, perhaps he's keeping his cards close to his vest. And if that's the case, then uh, that's a whole other aspect Corey has to deal with. And biting helps. Biting helps fix that. Yep. And, but you made a good point a moment ago. Just the distribution of this program stretching out. So you have to think, we've got people in Japan watching us both. Konnichiwa, Japan, Japanese fans. <coughs> Japan S. Ichiban. And now it's Ishida looking to prove he's Ichiban in PWX, but hung up. And check out the quickness. Check out the seamless motion of the New Age play. What ferocity from Gory. This man is second on. Sees an opportunity for a cover. Leaps at the occasion and gets two and a half. And the frustration begins to build on the animalistic Gory. And when it comes to uh, endurance, you had mentioned it earlier, but just to uh, underscore it, it's important to note that, again, within the Japanese wrestling culture, the uh, training is very vigorous. And uh, for one to be, to make it in Japanese wrestling, to uh, make their professional debut, they have conditioning second to none. They have durability second to none. And Gori goes for the double stomp. Is she just scouted and Gori landed hard in that right ankle. He may be hurt. He is clutching that ankle immediately. Well, he's, he's absolutely hurt, but how badly is the question? And this and is, could be an opening. Yeah, did Ashita notice? Ashita with a slam took a lot out of himself on that impact. Ashita's got a lot of cobwebs to shake off in his own right. Yeah, Ashita has sustained punishment for the past several minutes. Both men wobbly. We're with the edge for a moment. Ishida reverses. Straight right hand. Gory ran into it. The Super kick. kick. Hold on, Joe. I didn't mean to talk over you there. Ten minutes left in this contest. Twenty minutes left to wrestle. 
Nishida gets that head of steam. And a head and arm throw overhead. He hangs on. Beautiful yeah. float over. And what a bridge. What next? Brand new chip. No. Oh, tremendous bridge. Half a count away from PWX's championship making international headlines. Such an honor to be a part of this international PWX heavyweight title matchup. And Corey heavily favoring the back as well. And Ishida sees that. Boston crowd low to the ground. One of Ishida's favorite wrestlers is Chris Jericho. No doubt an influence in the application of this Boston crowd. There's no space, no air between Ishida's lower body and Gory's back. It is all pressure, all pain. And Ishida now adjusts to get Gory up the ropes and leans right back down. He has Gory almost completely bent in half. Gory biting his hand to distract himself from the pain. And he is clawing. Ishida lost the grip on the leg, turned into a stretch muffler. But Gory crawling his way to the ropes. Great wrestling and counter wrestling between champion and challenger. And make no mistake about this, Jim. This is not some international exhibition. Ishida is here to win gold in the United States. He knows that if he wins gold on U.S. soil, that will quite literally make headlines in Japan. And it'll be the first step of what could be a long journey of superstardom for this 22-year-old upstart. And there you see... A variation of a top rope drop kick. New this champ! Do it! No! And Ishida is in shock. And Joe, I was able to uh, have a brief discussion with Ishida earlier. He is thrilled to be here in the United States, and he wants nothing more than to board the plane back to Nagoya, Japan, as a champion. Abagori caught Shinya the second time around. Ishida precariously on top. Gori, I believe, knew he could not withstand two of those drop kicks. Gori digging deep in the playbook. Gori knows that the PWX Championship is in real jeopardy here. Shinya turns things around, literally. Moonsault, no! Gory out of the way, Shinya lands hard on his side. Ashita clutching those ribs. This could be Gory's opening. Oh, QAS! He hit it! Big fight! No! Oh. And Gory is irate! That's the move that Gory won the PWX championship with. And Ashita to his feet! Pestilence! Gonna choke Ishida out. Ishida counters. Gory. Could out of the grasp of Shinya. What a tense moment here. Check out this submission. And what a submission! Knees to the small of the back, stretching back. And Will Ishida at... tap away his title aspiration? He got it. Your winner by way of submission, and still, Pro Wrestling Express Heavyweight Chipman, Gory! We just witnessed an international classic for the PWX title. And Gory, dug down deep, found something that I personally haven't seen Gory use before. But it worked. It was enough. Shinya had Pestilence scouted. Without that second submission attempt, the New Age Plague keeps on infecting Pro Wrestling Express. And give credit to Shinya Ishida. He gave the champion all he could handle. And I truly believe we are seeing the beginnings of a Japanese superstar in the one Shinya Ishida. And there you see that mutual respect, Corey knows.